Hi everybody, it's me, Crystalline, your proactive, conscious aging life coach. How are you guys doing today? I am joyful, yes, in the Lord and in the power of his might. Welcome back to my channel. You see, I'm so much better today and I'm so glad I waited to record this video. Let's have some fun today, all right? I'm for it if you are too. I've been having a great day today and I'm going to tell you how I started my day. But first, if you're new to my channel, please give this video a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel. Make a lot of comments in the comments section. Please share this video and don't forget to hit that notification bell so you can get all of my videos just as soon as I upload them. Woo! Yes, indeed. I'm having a great day today, you guys. I started this morning off with a nice, brisk walk. Now, as I have been alluding to over the last couple of days, Michigan has gone back to winter. A few weeks ago, it was sunny, it was warm, I was outside riding my bike and everything. Now, it's back to 30 degrees. So, before I went, on my walk this morning, I'm going to give you a little castor oil update. Since I knew it was so cold out this morning, I decided to use my castor oil to slug my skin because I have heard that it's very good for slugging. So yes, indeed, I put on a nice, I want to say medium coat of castor oil all over my face, especially in my eye area, and I went walking. When I came home, my skin looked so good. I'm serious, you guys. So what has had happened is it's kind of windy outside, and so what I was noticing is that the, the castor oil was such a wonderful barrier to that wind. When I got home and I looked in the mirror, it was like, yes! Okay, because what happened, the castor oil had actually absorbed into my skin a little bit. And so I just, whatever was left, I just wiped it off a little bit with my washcloth. And then I put on my, found, my primer, my foundation primer, uh, and I was good to go to do my makeup. So I can now highly recommend the castor oil also for slugging if it's cold in the area that you are in. So that's some good news right there. So also today I went to get my nails done and I wanna recommend Kimberly at Athena Nails in Farmington, Michigan. This is a shout out to you, Kimberly, because I know you're watching this video. So I get what's called a uh, powder dip. And as you can see, wait a minute. I have my nails really short. They were getting a little bit too long. I played a piano and they were just getting way too long uh, for me to play properly. And also, there is a specific reason why I want my nails to be shorter right now to be able to practice, and we're gonna get to that in just a few minutes. Now, also, I have my new things for the week, and what I have, uh, since I, I thought it was gonna be spring, you know, the groundhog came up and said that we were having an early spring, but he was wrong this time. So in the meantime though, I went out and I got these two really nice lipsticks by Maybelline. And I'm gonna show you them. This one is number 005, it's called Pink Sand. And I like pinky lips, I really do. So that's what this one looks like. It's kind of a pearl pink. It's really pretty. When I wear it, I'll let you know. I like to wear these pinks with my red hair too. As a matter of fact, it looks nice. Now this one is uh, zero two zero pink and proper. And these colors are very, very similar, except this one is just a little bit darker, if you can see that, okay? So I got those two and also, when I did my makeup video, I was telling you how much I loved this LA Girl Pro Concealer, but I was almost out of it. So this is the one that I use. 
Now, wait a minute. There you go. It's called LA Girl Pro Concealer HD High Definition. Okay, and let me show you. This color is called Toffee, and it is so close to my skin color, you wouldn't even believe it, okay? There I am right there. And let's put it on. There. Look how close that is. You can't even hardly tell I put anything on. So, this is a wonderful concealer. I like to use this sometimes in the morning when I'm going to the gym and I might have a little, you know, darkness or whatever. So I just wanted to share that with you. You know, this, um, I got this at my beauty supply store. It was like $4.99, but you can get this off of Amazon as well if you don't have a local beauty supply store that you go to. So that's that. <laughs> now listen, you guys. I'm going to make this announcement, uh, but I want you to stick around because I also have some beauty tips for you today. Now, I don't know how many of you guys have been following me on YouTube here or on social media, but I'm just going to tell you, back in my 20s, I was a professional model. And I also love to compete in beauty pageants. And so, you know, it was fun. You meet people, it was exciting and everything. So at the beginning of the year, as I always do, I was praying and I was asking the Lord, what, what, what should I do this year? Last year, I established my homeless feeding ministry, Divine Intervention, Feeding the Homeless, and I've been doing that and that is great. But this year I wanted to do something that was even more fun. So what I decided to do was to enter into the Ms. Senior Michigan pageant. And let me show you my last pageant sash. I was Mrs. Southeastern Michigan, United States in 2008 so <laughs> this is my big announcement you guys i'm gonna compete in the ms senior michigan pageant this year in july 2024. it's been like 16 years since i've been in a pageant but i'm really really looking forward to it this pageant is um the ms senior America pageant system. So the winner of the state pageant will go on to compete with 50 other senior Ms. Mrs. I should say in uh, Atlantic City in September. So I'm really in it to win it, you guys. So, you know, pray for me, please, because I'm going to be talking about how we can eliminate the stigma of ageism. You know, that's the thing. You know, like when we're young and we're competing in these pageants and everything, it's all about basically, okay, how we look. Okay, just be honest about it. Okay, Mrs. Universe, excuse me, Miss Universe and Miss USA, they're not coming out in a burlap sack, right? <laughs> they're coming out in their bikinis. So, but as you get older, as you get into the Mrs. categories, what they're judging you on more so begins to be your life experience. And in the Ms. Senior America pageant, they are judging you on your life experience. What have you contributed since you've been here on planet Earth? Uh, also, there is, instead of a swimsuit competition, there is a talent competition. And so that's why I was saying that I needed to get my nails down because I might play my piano in the talent competition. I haven't decided yet. I have three things that I might do. First of all, I might play my piano. Secondly, I may sing. And thirdly, I actually have already written 
a um, monologue that deals with fighting against the stigma of ageism. And since that's kind of my platform, I'm probably gonna go with that, but I'm gonna be ready in case I change my mind. What do you guys think about that? I am so excited. I can't wait, you know, to go shopping for all of my outfits and my gown and everything. So let me tell you what they're gonna judge us on. First of all, it's gonna be your philosophy of life then they're going to have the talent competition and the evening gown competition and then they're going to have the judges interview now with the judges interview you really have to do well they're going to ask you any kind of random questions that they want to but also we're going to submit a biography and they're likely to ask us some questions from the biography too. So yours truly is getting ready right now because I intend to be ready. I'm in it to win it, okay? What do you guys think? I wanna know, I wanna know. Have any of you guys had any modeling experience or any pageant experience? You know, let's discuss it in the comments. You know I love to have a wonderful discussion and to see what you guys think. You know, oh, with this pageant, you have to be over 60, and I am 63, so I'm well over 60. Last year's winner from Michigan was actually 71 years old. I got to give it up for her, okay? I'm putting her picture right here. That's the winner for last year, for 2003, Ms. Senior Michigan. So... I'm just excited. I, I'm looking so forward to meeting a group of wonderful women, a group of accomplished women, a group of women who don't let their age define who they are. That's what I'm talking about. That's why I started this channel because I said 60 is the new 40. I don't want to let my age define me or stop me from doing things that I would normally do and have fun. So that's my big announcement that you guys have been waiting for with bated breath. Let me know what you think about it in the comments section. Now, I'm going to give you guys a few of my top beauty tips. I just wanted to have a little something something to add on there for you guys today. Number one, I want you to start eating a diet that is high in antioxidants and you're going to get that from your fruits and vegetables. What that does beauty wise is it helps stimulate blood flow. It helps bring oxygen up to the skin so that you always have a beautiful glow on your face and actually all over your body. That's coming from those antioxidants. I got to get a drink of water. You guys, I'm so excited. You know, I'm just uh, messing up my voice. <laughs> mm. <clears throat> so... Eat a diet that is high in fruits and vegetables so you can get those antioxidants. Number two, exercise. And I really want to emphasize progressive strength training. And the reason why is because after 30, we start to lose lean muscle mass. And so that's bad news. What happens then is that um, we start to be frail, number one. And number two, because lean muscle mass is metabolically active, when we start to lose that muscle mass, guess what? Our metabolism slows down. So you'll notice that as you're getting in your 30s, 40s, 50s, and you're like, wow, I used to be able to eat anything I want to, but what has happened is you have let that lean muscle mass diminish. So. I want to emphasize that we all need to exercise and we need to do progressive weight training. For example, if you're starting off at a low weight, five pounds with some dumbbells, you know, do that. And then you're going to build up to eight pounds and then maybe 10 pounds until you get up to where it's too hard for you to lift that weight 
maybe you're up to 18 pounds, okay? It needs to get higher and higher slowly, but surely, all right? And that is how we build our lean muscle mass. We don't have to be frail little old ladies and gentlemen just because we're getting older. Also, when you do progressive weight training like that, I should say resistance training, you are also building your bones. And that is very, very important. When we put a load on our bones, our bones get stronger. So please do start that progressive resistance training in addition to your cardiovascular fitness. Now, when you're doing your cardiovascular system, your cardiovascular exercise, you know, just kind of limit it to 30 minutes because what is gonna happen is when you do too much is you're gonna start build, burning that lean muscle mass, which is not what we wanna do. We want to help our cardiovascular system work better, our heart and lungs that is, you know, we wanna burn some calories, but what really burns the calories is when you have your muscle mass built up, okay? So you wanna exercise. That's my number two beauty tip. Number three, I want you guys to drink at least eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. And I'm talking about plain water. You might wanna put a little flavor stuff in it, or you might wanna put a little lemon in it, but you ought to have eight, eight ounce glasses of water a day. We have to stay hydrated in order for our skin to stay lovely, stay hydrated. Number four, I want you to get eight hours of sleep per night. Put that cell phone down before you go to bed. Put that computer down before you go to bed. Pick up a book and read. Uh, you have to do something to calm yourself down. You might wanna do some stretching in the bed. You might wanna do a little something something with your spouse, if you understand what I'm saying, because that tends to calm people down too, amen? Uh, we just wanna get rid of all this light and all this, you know, I don't wanna say excitement, because if you did what I just previously said, it might go the other way. But anyway, I digress as I sometimes do. Read a book. I like to read my Bible before I go to bed. And that way I'm calmed down and I'm also getting, you know, good positive positivity put into me before I go to sleep, okay? So let's make sure we get eight hours of sleep a night, as much as humanly possible. The other thing about when you get your sleep is that it will reduce cortisol production, which makes you get that belly fat, okay? So what, am I, what did I say, four, five, all right? I want you to use your sunscreen a physical sunscreen is way better than a chemical one. We've talked about this before. You should be looking for a sunscreen with a sun protection factor, that's that SPF, of at least 30. And it should be titanium dioxide or zinc oxide or a combination thereof. We wanna avoid chemical sunscreens because they go into your system and they are uh, hormone disruptors. I'm not gonna get all into that, but make sure you use your sunscreen, especially when it's really, really sunny out. But you know, just get into the habit of putting it on as your regular morning routine when you're about to go out, okay? That's number five. Number six, I want you to pay attention to your teeth, okay? A beautiful smile is so attractive and it signals health and well-being. You know, we, we have to take care of our teeth, especially as we're getting older because we need to be able to eat <laughs> and we need to be able to eat with no problem. Our teeth are important. Have you ever had like a, a tooth removed or a toothache or something happens in your mouth that messes up 
your teeth is awful. So make sure you go for your regular dental appointments. I go every six months for a tooth cleaning. And the other thing is you wanna make sure that your smile stays white. If you're a coffee drinker or a heavy tea drinker, your teeth may be stained. And sometimes we don't even notice. You know, I remember, I'm thinking back, maybe I was in my 30s and my mother told me, praise God, you know, your teeth aren't as white as they used to be. <laughs> I'm serious, okay? That's my mother, that's how my mother was, but that's okay. I thank God for her because after she told me that, don't you know that I made sure my teeth got white and stayed white. Now, there's so many ways you can get your teeth white nowadays. You can have it done professionally. There's all kinds of gels. I personally use just regular pressed white strips. You can get a box that big. You start off with 14 days. I think the box costs about $20. You use them once a day for 14 days and your smile will whiten up. I guarantee you that is one product that I swear by. So pay attention to your teeth because that is part of your beauty aesthetic, okay? Now here comes Jim coming from the store. And so I'm just gonna move on, but if you see him coming in, you know, he might wave or something. So now speaking of teeth, my last beauty tip that I'm gonna give you today is to make sure that you smile. A smiling face is absolutely lovely and beautiful all the time. Not only that, when you smile, it releases oxytocin in your brain, and that is the feel-good hormone. Another thing that my mother used to always tell me was, smile, you need to smile, always smile. And you know, it wasn't until I started studying psychology that I understood why she told me that. You know, I just give you a little challenge right now. Smile and see how you feel. It's almost impossible to be in a bad mood or feel bad when you have that smile on your face. So remember you guys, always smile. And you know, those are the tips that I have for you today. And also remember my big announcement, yours truly is gonna participate in that Ms. Senior Michigan pageant, uh, the pageant for us is gonna be in July. And then when I win, I'm gonna go on to Atlantic City. I'm just so excited. And isn't that nice, you guys? My last video, I felt so bad about Princess Catherine, but you know, I'm praying for her. I'm praying for her unceasingly. So I have faith in God that he's gonna heal her. And uh, yeah. <laughs> That's it for today, guys. I just wanted to make sure I came to you and gave you that announcement, get some feedback, and um, you know, hope that you guys will support me and be behind me in my quest. God bless you, and I'll see you next time. Mwah.